They say electric vehicles are the future and the way to move ahead for the automotive industry. But what about the present? Well, to check that, Pure EV invited us to check their brand new offering in the EV space, which is surprisingly not a scooter but a motorcycle, the e 350. You may have tough time explaining that name to your friends who ride a petrol fuel motorcycle, but what I liked is Pure EV has followed a conventional motorcycle design that is not inspired by a spaceship. I was really excited to experience the E-Tris 350 where the absence of ice engine and gearbox makes this an automatic motorcycle. So gone is the clutch lever on the left, which is now replaced by the rear brake lever and absolutely no foot controls on this one. Twist the throttle and the motorcycle effortlessly accelerates even with two people on board and within moments you are doing 60 km per hour. In real world experience, the absence of engine, its RPM and the NVH from the engine makes this feel faster than it actually is. Just to give you an idea on how silent this complete setup works, here is an unedited file. The 3.5 kWh battery pack takes the place of the engine. Pure EV has balanced the weight distribution well on this one as it does not feel front heavy even during slow speed maneuvers. The claimed range is around 140 km, which I feel is really good for a city commuter. The charging time with the supplied charger is around 6 hours for a full charge that will power the BLDC hub motor on the rear wheel. Having some experience with the BLDC motor, I can say that they are high on reliability and low on maintenance, which should be a good news to the owners. The BLDC hub motor is again free from any chain and belt drive which again lowers the maintenance and consumable cost. Plus it delivers a smooth and silent drive in absence of chain and sprockets. You also get three modes which modulates the top speed and range. You can achieve a top speed of 85 km per hour in the thrill mode which is more than required for city commutes. Another impressive number comes in the form of ground clearance at 198mm, you are free from speed breakers and I might dare to say you are ready for off-roads as well. And you are getting this without sacrificing on the main stand. I also did a ride with a pillion where the motorcycle pulled effortlessly and we were easily overtaking other vehicles on the street. The pillion was happy to find a missing hot silencer on his summer Sunday afternoon. As we speak of pillion comfort, I must mention the seat which is spacious with good contours and cushioning. The suspension is doing an okay job on this motorcycle, but I know this really well that getting the suspension right in an electric vehicle is really difficult as we are still in the native transition space. The same applies to the braking department. Along with the front disc brake, Pure EV has smartly integrated a disc brake to the rear hub motor as well. You also get regenerative braking on this motorcycle, it gets activated once you apply the brakes. The level of regenerative braking is indicated on the console. Coming to the instrumental console, it is well defined but honestly I feel they could have done a better job as the EV space is doing some awesome stuff with the instrumental console. Although I must mention the keyless control function along with the anti-theft features which looks like a nice addition. Although this is not the final version which will be delivered to the customers but I feel the selection of tyres could have been better than the particular Seat which we got on our motorcycle but again this is something which you can easily switch. One of the highlights of Etherist for me is the way Pure EV has programmed the throttle response. There is no urgency in the initial twist of the throttle that might scare you in slow crawling traffic. They have tried to replicate the linear power delivery of an IC engine, which I believe will make the IC to EV transition easy for the users. My personal experience makes the Etherist 350 a very practical machine. And coming from the automotive background, I know for sure that this must have been a tough project for Pure EV. And I appreciate them and every other company in the EV space who are working on new products that will define the future of mass automobiles. For now, let me know in the comment section if I should do a real world range test on the Etherist 350. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.